Hey everyone, uh, as you can tell from the description, we are doing hair and makeup today to accommodate a mask. Uh, so if you want to watch me get ready to this really fun, quick, easy hairstyle and makeup, keep watching. Uh, I'm going to be using my Core Products mask today. This one is really nice, really breathable, natural, very easy to wear. This mask is becoming one of my favorite ones to wear out. It's quick, it's easy, and it's breathable, and really it doesn't give me any of that behind the ear pain like my other masks do. Um, but it is covering most of my face! See? <laughs> so I want to do a little something with my eyeballs uh, to give them a little bit of a pop. So. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take um, just like a really natural looking palette. Uh, I'm going to just kind of go in pretty light handedly with a brush into kind of just a normal color. Start off natural, whatever your natural skin tone is. Awesome. So again, I'm just going into like a really neutral, natural palette, getting a color that's almost matching my skin. Just putting that on. Giving me a good big girl. So um, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a shimmer today. I think it can be kind of nice. Uh, this is kind of a gold shimmer. It's really a little bit of a summer glow pop for the day. Again, just really lightly. I'm not going all the way up to my brow bone. You can see that I'm just doing the lid and a little bit into the crease. I'm gonna dip into that shimmer again. I'm gonna go back on this side. Again, just sweep it across the lid. Sorry. Awesome, so there is this empty space above our brow, so I'm gonna take a clean brush, clean brush, and I'm gonna dip into something that's really light just to highlight up there. Um, just a little bit, give it a little bit of a highlight. Makes your brows look nice and arched. Awesome. Good, so just a really nice natural glow. From there, I'm gonna take um, a felt tip eyeliner. Uh, again, I just work better with felt tip. You could use a liquid, you could use a pencil. Uh, and all I'm going to do is just very lightly line the top part of my eyelids um, just to give it a little bit more definition. With a felt tip liner, you want to you want to make little brush strokes all the way across. You want to make little brush strokes all the way across. Good. Connecting those little brush strokes all together. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm a little extra, so I like to add a little wing on the end of my, my eyeliner. So the trick with this is that you look at your bottom, <clears throat> you look at your bottom uh, lash line and you follow that up. So wherever that is going, I already did a little bit, but you're going to follow that up that way. And you just connect it back down. Follow that lower lash line up. Fill it in. Give yourself a little sassy wing. You know, why not? Uh, last step is you take your mascara. I've already done this eye. I did a little mascara on my bottom line, uh, lash line. And then I use my mascara to connect my real lashes to my fake lashes. So between the eyeliner by the lash line and then connecting your lashes with the mascara. It really makes them pretty seamless, pretty integrated. So it doesn't look like you just threw on a giant pair of eyelashes. They really look like they're part of your eye and part of your makeup. Awesome, so our eyes are done now. We have our little bit of shadow, a brow, 
a lash, some liner. So again, I'm gonna be wearing my mask today, so I don't really wanna, I'm not gonna put on a full lip, I'm not gonna do a full contour, anything like that. The most that I will do is I'm just gonna take a big brush and uh, my bronzer, and I'm just gonna bronze up sort of a little bit of my face. Like I said, it is summer, I have been tanning, so, um, but I do love SPF. So I'll just bronze up my head just a little bit to make my face the same color as my body and to just give you a little extra glow. So um, you might see me, I'll put a little bit on either side of my nose, you know, a little definition, make your nose look smaller. Setting spray. I like to push my hair up out of the way a little bit, close my eyes and just, you know, six to eight inches away, spray it on your face. You're gonna wanna let it set. So, you know, either let it dry or expedite it, make it a little bit faster to set down. Um, this is just a lasting fix spray. It's up to 20, I'm sorry, 16 hours um, matte finish. I will be taking my mask on and off. Um, I don't necessarily wear my mask in the car. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing what I can in my routine to make sure that my makeup can stay on and fresh and clean. So before we get into the hair, let's just talk about this. Here we go. So here's my final makeup look. I don't really wanna tie this because I'm gonna be doing makeup very soon, but you can imagine, or hair I should say. Here we go. Really smoldering, natural, pretty eyes. A little bit of bronze. Now that our makeup is done, let's move on to hair. All right, so now that our makeup's done, I wanna take down my hair. Uh, so you can see I have pretty long hair. Um, so wearing a mask is a little bit difficult, especially if it's just down like this. So I wanna go over a few ways that I like to wear my hair while wearing my core products mask. So um, let's go through the first one, probably one of the easiest ones. Uh, as a lot of people have been this summer, uh, I'm very into scrunchies, especially giant oversized scrunchies. Uh, so the first and easiest thing that we can do is just a top knot, just a really easy top knot. So I'll take my brush and I will brush all my hair up into kind of just like a really high ponytail. Um, once that's all up into your hands, back up a little bit. You're gonna to wanna to take just a normal ponytail, put it on the top. Uh, two or three times should be good, just to kind of give it some stability, depending how big your hair is. If it's a little messy, that's fine. You're gonna pull some stuff down anyway. So you take this and you separate your ponies a little bit. Good. And truly, all you're going to do is knot them together. You'll do that twice. Take the ends, loop them together, <laughs> and knot them. So you really have a top knot. And then you just twist around the base, kind of mess with it around a little bit. I'm going to throw some bobby pins in to secure those ends. Can see it just by knotting it truly the top knot just makes it look careless but in like a really cute sort of way yeah so you just bobby pin it where you think hmm, if I were to bang my head around where would it go good so if you're feeling kind of spunky throw you know a fun scrunchie in there as well these down, little fun things towards the sides. I like to pull out the top of my hair just right here and make it a little bit more voluminous. And now that the scrunchies around it, I need to make it look a little bigger. Good. So you have like big, high, top knot hair. Then take your mask over your nose. And I like to do it right underneath my bun, nice and high. 
good. And you can pull it as tight as you want, make a little bow. These strings are fairly long. I'll show you the back in a minute. Good, so from the back, you can see, tie right underneath the bun, tie right at the nape of the neck. These are a little bit long, so if you wanted to, you can cut them. Um, I have a little bit of a larger head, so it works out for me. So this is kind of just like the easy, if you want to get forward, you know, trendy, cute, little top knot. Uh, if you're feeling really, really adventurous and you'd like to throw on maybe like a hoop earring, there you go. You got the room to do it. All right, let's talk about the next hairdo coming up. So for this next one, you're gonna actually need four hair ties, which uh, I just happen to have right here. So at the end, this is end up, gonna end up being um, multi-tiered ponytail that ends up in a braid. So again, what you're going to do is you're gonna section your hair off. We're gonna start just kind of like with a normal uh, half pony. So find your temples and pull your hair back as if you were just going to put up a half ponytail. Good. Awesome. And what you can do is brush this, make it smooth, make it nice, whatever you'd like. If smooth and nice is not what you're going for, if you want to be a little messy, do that too. So you got your hair up here in this half pony and you're going to secure it just like this. One, two, three. I have my half high pony. There it is from the back. You're gonna pull from right above your ears, right above your ears. Good, you're gonna pull straight back till your fingers meet. Good, make everything else go towards the bottom. Awesome, here's the trick. So. You're going to brush this hair backwards like it's going to go in a ponytail, the second section. And then you're going to grab this top pony in to the second one. Take a hair tie, put it in. Probably two or three around. This Each time that you add hair, this pony is going to get thicker. Good. And along the way, make sure that you're like pulling out if you want little front baby hairs make sure you grab those along the way right you want this to be a little bit voluminous at the top so now you should have this pulled back you can see two ponytails I bet you know what we're doing second so really actually this can stay how it is you can just have like a double pony it looks pretty cute your mask will have two different places underneath your neck and up here, but I really want my hair out of the way. So my third pony, it's just gonna be everything else and it's gonna be right kind of here at the bottom of my neck. One, two, three. Pull that through. So it can stay, again, it could potentially stay just like this, where it has one, two, and three in a row. Um, this is great because it's out of your face. It's out of anybody's way, your way, the mask's way. Um, it gives you nice little places to tie your mask up here and down here. But since my hair is actually super long, I like to do one last thing, which is I like to braid. So I will then section this into three different strands. And I will just braid this really quickly. Give myself a little like Hunger Games braid, if you will. Good. And then you have, you put it straight down your back. You have one, two, three, four with the braid. Towards the front, it's all up off your face or a little bright here. So uh, to show it with the mask on, all you do is you put it up. I'm gonna make sure that I am tying this right underneath that first high pony, nice and tight.
and tight, kind of in between the first and second. I'm going to tie this down here. But let me show you in the back. I tied it in between the first and the second pony. I tied it underneath. I really love this hairstyle. This has really gotten me through the summer a lot already, and it's not even July, um, especially since it works so well with my mask. Let's go on to hairstyle number three. All right, so now that my hair is out, we're gonna work on our third and final hair uh, for wearing a mask. This is actually a variation on the last hairstyle, and it's also sort of a variation on French braids. Now, I, as a child, loved braiding, and I would braid everybody's hair that I could get my hands on, but I know that braids aren't easy, so we're actually gonna do a, like a mock French braid. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, to start, you're gonna wanna part your hair down the middle, um, brush out sort of any, it's really important, please, especially for us long hair girls, brush out any sort of knots or tangles you may have. So you're gonna go straight down the center, just using a bobby pin because my comb is not near me. That seems fairly center, good on us. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go all the way back down, straight back. Good, and then I'm just gonna section my hair into two sections. So let's start uh, this side just to get it out of the way. I'm going to throw it into a low pigtail, low ponytail. And we're going to start with this side. So I'm going to brush all of my hair. Good, on this pigtail. So we're going to need multiple ponytails. I have so many just like hanging out. All right, so once you have this half sectioned off and in a ponytail, you're just gonna leave it. Uh, I found my comb. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna come to about the center, if not a little bit farther back from center, and you're gonna pull it straight down. You should hit either like the top of your ear or right behind the top of your ear, if that makes sense. You're going to brush all of this together and try to brush it upwards. If you have a smaller ponytail, use that. If not, just use your normal size. But you're going to put this in a really small ponytail, just like that. This one, since it is a smaller rubber band, it will take multiple turns to get it. Once you have it, you should have a clean line and a small pony like that. So then you do the exact same thing all the way down your hairline till you get about here. So I go to about the crown of my head and I pull it towards, I try to go as straight down as I can. This should go right behind your ear if that makes sense. Now, just like the other side, the other hairdo I should say, you're gonna make sure that you incorporate that first ponytail in it. Good, so I have both ponytails in. Throw that in, secure it, make sure it's good. So right now you should have like a little tiny baby pony in the top of your head. So I whisk back all the rest of my hair and I keep working my way down. So I just kind of got to do everything by feel. All right, so now that you have one, two ponytails, you're just gonna continue down. Uh, you're gonna take your comb, you're gonna feel kind of towards the center of your head and go towards your ear, sort of using your ear, ear as a guideline. I'm gonna pull those hairs forward. I have a little bit of hair left that I'm just gonna swoop to the back. And all you wanna do is find a ponytail and secure it to your head. If you're just creating fun little sections, um, as cute as these are, as trendy as these are, these also um, provide some support for your mask. Um, so I'm just kind of securing that in, getting that tight, making sure that that's exactly how I want it. So it should look like that. Awesome. Last but not least, you're gonna take your fourth ponytail. You're gonna scoop up the rest of that hair that's down there. 
and you're gonna put it close to the nape of your neck. And again, this is a one, two, three, four sort of situation. Make sure it's nice and tight. Good. So then you should have a nice pony coming down here. It's still fairly long, um, but you have one, two, three, four. So again, like the last hairdo, you can leave this just very nonchalant, very ponytail-esque, or you can go one step further and you can braid them, which is kind of what I like to do. Um, it makes you feel slash look like you're wearing a French braid, when in reality, you're just wearing ponytails with a skinny braid at the bottom. So I'm gonna braid this quickly to show you. I have these tiny clear ponytail holders um, that you can buy at literally anywhere. They're clear. They're, um, they remind me of like when I had braces and you had to put rubber bands in your mouth, but they're just tiny little rubber bands. So it doesn't look like a bulky ponytail holder. Good. Just like that. And voila, you have a nice, fun, out of your face, summer hairdo. I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the mask on. So I'm gonna take my Core Products mask. I'm gonna really quickly put it here, right over my ears. I think I'm actually gonna put this one in between the, the second and the third ponytail. Just a quick little bow. Again, if you want to cut these, feel free. Um, I just like to keep them longer. I don't like them to keep them super short. Okay, so got it all tied on there. And you can see. And you're not going to get any of your hair pulled out when you take your mask off. It's not going to be, you know, detrimental to your health. <laughs> I just one, two, quick pull them out and it's off. Um, I really love them. It's really breathable, really easy to put on and off, and I can throw them in the washing machine. Um, you went through my makeup routine with me, and you can see a very tiny, tiny bit of makeup came off on here, but because they're made um, really well, I can just throw them in the washing machine with some detergent. So I hope you enjoyed my makeup, get ready with me, and my hairstyles. I hope that something helped you, and I hope that you have a fun and safe summer with your core products masks. See you later.